Alright guys, let's start by getting accustomed to the materials needed. You need a pen. Well, tailors would usually use a chalk, but I don't have a chalk, so I use the pen. You need a measuring tape. You need a pair of scissors. And then you need an elastic band. Of course you need the fabric too i'm going to be using two different types of fabric remember it's a two-way hair bonnet you can wear it both ways and so that's the essence of using these two fabrics and of course you need a safety pin too as we go on you get to see the importance of all these materials okay so we'll start by folding our fabric into four just as you can see in the video and then we would ensure that the edges meet and that it is properly folded because that can affect your measurement and eventually your cotton <laughs> tailors know this <laughs> i'm not a tailor but i just enjoy doing diys okay and then you'd measure first you have to ensure that your fabric is at least 30 or say 28 inches long that's the length and the breadth okay so we'll take from this folded area as i've shown and then measure 13.5 inches i actually wanted to do 14 inches but my fabric isn't that much so i did 13.5 inches that's so that's what we're going to be measuring round this is like the radius of our circle <laughs> i'm sure you did mathematics maybe not the advanced level but at least the elementary level you'd know what the radius is and so we'll take it round 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 that's what i'm doing now marking it round so that i can cut out my radius and then eventually get a perfect circle Next, I link up the lines, the marks I drew on the fabric. And then, after linking it up, next is to cut. And the result is a very big circle <laughs> form a big circle like your mother's cooking pot <laughs> okay so next we'll repeat the same process on our second fabric to get the radius and also cut it out the same way we did the first fabric This particular fabric was a bit problematic. It was just moving about. <laughs> so I had to keep adjusting and readjusting. Well, a simpler way to do this is to just place the fabric you already cut and use as a template for cutting the second fabric instead of going through the process all over again. Now that we have our two big circles, check the diameter to be sure you have 27 inches, which I can see here. So we'll place our two fabrics above each other right sides facing each other <laughs> make sure you pay attention to this the right side should be facing each other and then we'll measure 
half an inch to taking the edges meanwhile we're going to leave a space of about half an inch also that's a space you can see marked there on the fabric so that we can turn our fabric inside out so it's straight to the machine now and we're doing justice to the edges now <laughs> now i didn't use pins to hold my fabric together because i didn't have pins but what i did was i got about two pins and then i used them judiciously <laughs> as you can see i'm just trying to improvise so i was fixing the pin removing at regular intervals it's quite stressful <laughs> as against having all of them already pinned So here we are, edges sewn, done and dusted, <laughs> okay, so and we still have that space that I talked about earlier, we have it open and that's what we're going to be using to turn it, flip it inside out. flip 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 it's what we're doing right now turn it out turn it out <laughs> that was what i was thinking right here i'm asking myself right now send me a message because this actually took more energy time and resources than i expected and here you go we have our big bonnet <laughs> it's looking so huge now but eventually when it starts taking shape you'd get to see that it would go smaller what we would do now is to iron these edges as shown in the video so that we can have a neat job Okay, that's done now. What we need to do next is to measure 1.5 inches towards the edges. I already did that and marked it out. We would measure that round the same way we did with the half inch when we were going to take in the edges. And, and then I'll take it round, round, round again. Right, so we sew that round, stitch that round, and then next I'm going to be taking another 0 0.75 inches. That's about half the measurement of the 1.5 inches taken earlier. And we're also going to be sewing that round. I'm going to need to go to the table to do that. Okay, so. I'm showing you how to measure the 0 0.75 inches round now. Of course, measure round, link the marks, and then draw another big circle. <laughs> Meanwhile, this time around, we're going to leave the 0 0.5 inch space. Remember when we sewed the first circle, we ran it over the 0 0.5 inch space this time around we're going to leave the space so that we can pass our elastic through so my elastic is 19 inches as you can see okay so now we need our safety pin where did i put the safety pin on 
So just do this, fix this here, and then pass it through. See, our hole is still very important. So this is how you do that. You can see the bulge there. So you pass, pass it through. So I'm just passing the elastic through the 1.5 inches and the 0.75 inches we already sewed. Every YouTuber out there, kudos. YouTubers creating fantastic content out there. Kudos to you. Because, man, you see some content, they look so easy, beautiful online. You wouldn't know the stress time and energy that i've gone into making those contents this is why guys you have to encourage people encourage content creators give them likes share their content subscribe to their channel because this is a it's not easy adjust and all this so it doesn't just enter and then you start looking for it <laughs> it will defeat the purpose and stress you of course and finally have our elastic out see it's already taking shape <laughs> um, because you don't want your hair bonnet to be too tight so it won't be uncomfortable you want it to be as comfortable as possible so adjust 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 let me try this one ah i thought the elastic in that <laughs> oh my god let me try it on my head to see check the size <laughs> time to sew the edges of the elastic so now that we're done with that, next is to close this part so we can also stitch these edges to give it a neat finish. So after doing that, next. Try the other way around. See what it looks like. Remember, it's a two-way hair bonnet. It can be worked both ways. We will rock you. We will rock you, rock you, rock you. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for being a part of Flanky Speaking with Paula today. I hope that this has been worth your while. I'll see you in one of my other videos. Please subscribe, like, share, drop a comment. Bye. -a.